All right, hey guys, and welcome to a very special bonus episode. And I'm super excited. And as you can see, it is the Resident Evil 3 demo, uh, which came out, I think, about 5 a.m. or 4 a.m. here. Um, it's half six as I'm recording this now. Uh, but yeah, let's just go straight in and start the game because I'm super excited. I've been waiting for this for a while. Okay, can't save, can't load, and it may be different to the final product, so. This new plague is spreading at a terrifying rate, embedding itself in the corpses already shambling the city streets. Jill has encountered immense difficulties in her attempt to escape the city, but in her most something, something. So here we go. Hey, Captain. This fine young lady could use our help. Carlos, you didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? She is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. Nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS, platoon leader Mikhail Viktor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. Right. How's that going for you? The city is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the 100,000 civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. But we need help. My men cannot do this alone. All right. I'm in. But I am on their side, not yours. Oh, hey. It's cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Joe. All right, super cop. Here you go. We can use this to stay in contact. I know what a radio is. Okay, first things first. We need to get you geared up. Head up to street level. You'll find supplies there. All right. Okay, so I'm guessing we are off on our own. I'm really digging uh, Carlos's voice actor. That sounds really cool. And look at this. That's pretty cool. Biggie! Not the Biggie, but still cool. Obviously, Terminator, the Skull Stalker. Looks like it crossed between uh, Xenomorph and uh, the Space Cook from Scooby Doo. Nineteen ninety-eight, Tyrant of the Deep. Okay, so yeah, I'm super cool with. All this stuff. All right, I like it. So we have what? Twelve bullets. What else do we have? We, that's about it. Okay, yeah, so they have kind of changed around the the interface a little bit. Uh, okay, so Jill's report. It's already been two months since that mess with Umbrella. Thanks to the suspension, investigations haven't progressed exactly as I'd hoped. Perhaps this written record of what I found will prove to be my final duty as a STARS officer. I can only hope that it helps lead to the truth. The T-virus. Those infected by this virus seem to become literally zombies. Oh, literal zombies. It appears to be communicable via several different avenues outlined below. Bite from an infected individual, allowing the mixing of bodily fluids. Contact with crows, which have eaten infected carrion. Due to the strength of the virus, airborne infection cannot be discounted. It should be noted that those who survived the incident have not yet developed symptoms. It's unclear whether this is because the virus has a long incubation period or because we just happen to be resistant to the infection. 
We ought to remain vigilant even after this investigation period ends. As for me, aside from my minor difficulties sleeping, I seem to be in fine shape. Still, I shouldn't get too hopeful after all. This could just be an extended incubation. So, I'm guessing that means two months after the first one? Oh, we can't go through the door. Okay, great, good start. Now, uh, okay, we'll go back down again. But nice, I like the, the, the self-referential posters, that's kind of interesting. Okay, maybe we have to go through and out the other side. Shit, Captain. They really took a chunk out of you. Nothing that I would miss. <laughs> Alright, this is an excellent start. What am I doing wrong here? Oh, there we go. Good God. Okay. Great start. So, UBCS ammo crafting. Useful as a wet fart. Okay, so same as before. Handgun ammo. And obviously that's different because in the other one you just have uh, like the A. Anything. All right, let's head up then. It's very dark. Like super duper dark. And one thing that I'm kind of most excited for in this one is gonna be the, um, like just more street stuff. Cause we kind of had like a touch of that in the second one. The Cannibal Murders, complete digest. In the grey of the morning on September 25th, a frantic caller telephoned the RPD to report an assault. A man described as dishevelled like a vagrant was attacking a passerby north of the Lambs Museum of Art. The responding officers discovered the mutilated corpse of a woman by some dumpsters nearby. Dozens of bite marks covered her body and she'd been dismembered, suggesting she'd been eaten. The third known incident of its kind to occur in Raccoon City this month. So who done it? Who's been munching on a man's steak? We here at News Comet have a gnawing feeling that the so-called cannibal disease patient Spencer Memorial has been providing free treatment for since August might not be settling for just the cafeteria food. Our reporters have infiltrated Spencer Memorial, asked the tough questions and come back with horror stories that will make your stomach royal. Turn the page for the scoop. So Spencer might be like a reference to like Spencer Mansion from the first one. So yeah, more street stuff I'm down with. I might turn up the brightness like on the thing in a little bit. Oh. Jill, it's me again. You topside yet? Working on it. So what's the plan? The old tanks got me clearing the tracks. You mind getting the subway infrastructure back online? And how do I do that? Let's start by restoring power. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy that. Let's do this fast. Ah, and our first herbs. All right, let's sort the brightness out on this a bit. I'll just make it max, just for easiness. All right, so that should look a bit better now, kinda. Okay, so green herb, gunpowder. Gunpowder. And see, so yeah, there's no saves or reloads, which means that we're kind of screwed because I suck. So, oh, I think, am I right in thinking that we can like smash open boxes in this one? Yes, there you go. So obviously we'll want to mix that with, yes, I know. Okay, so they kind of, you know, made some like slight adjustments to the navigation and everything. And the map. Okay, so the map is kind of more of a kind of like a techie, more techie look to it, I guess.
And I wonder if them are going to act as like the bobble head, like the... There you go, as like the raccoons, Mr. Raccoons from the second one. Uh, so yeah, green herb to all three green herb. Can't make these yourself, grab them if you see them. Okay, so yeah, just basics, I guess. So I wonder how early on in the game this is going to be. This looks like it might have something to do with something later. And we've got our thing, nice. Yes, yeah, so one thing that is interesting is that we don't have the knife being put in like a separate section as like the secondary weapon, so that's interesting. Okay. More survivors. We've got to get that train moving. Oh, it doesn't have auto aim. Can we go in here? No? Okay, let's just run. Okay, this is not going to go well then. We only have auto aim. I think we picked them up. Yeah, okay. That's cool. Oh, oh, okay, I didn't see that. Okay, so there's a new, like, grappling mechanic, it looks like. Okay, that's cool. This is like kind of surreal. You know, after like playing the other one for so long, like actually getting to see like new stuff, it's kind of crazy. Carlos, I've reached the main avenue. Which way do I go? See a big transmission tower? That's the substation. You'll have to circle around through an alley to your right to get there. You mean the alley that's on fire? Maybe. Surely a tall drink of water like yourself can put out a few flames. <sighs> Fuck you. He's quick as well, actually. Hey, look at that. Look at that sprint speed compared to, like, Leon and Claire from the second one. It's kind of crazy. Okay, the quick step didn't work, so I guess it's more of like a time thing. Now that I've run myself back into trouble, actually, no, here we go, we go. So this one, I feel like, is going to be more of like a, a void, which kind of plays into the whole Nemesis thing as well, actually. You know how you have to, like, run away from him rather than get killed. So it's interesting, it's kind of... More open, yet, like, still as linear, at least this section. Drugstore owner's journal. This new hair tonic from Umbrella is just flying off the shelves. This, the stuff they make always works wonders, so it's no surprise. I was counting on this and ordered a huge shipment. My instincts are paying off, literally. I just know sales will continue to rise as word gets out. That said, the string of violent incidents on the news has me worried. Maybe I ought to invest in a good safe to hold all this cash that rolling out. You say it's perfect, nobody knows the code, not even my wife. It's a secret between me and my beautiful Aquacure Queen. And she'd never give it up for a thief. Okay. Nice, that was like an interesting little... Actually, I might save it because you might actually get some uh, thingy in a bit. Like one of the higher quality ones. Her gun seems, at least it, it sounds way more powerful than uh, the handguns from the 
I want to say the first game, but you know what I mean, the second game. Resident Evil 2. Okay, more bullets. Okay, she's dead. Kite Brothers Railway. Okay, this is cool, like, because... I've never played like the original Resident Evil 3, same with uh, Resident Evil 2. But I've seen a lot of like speed runs and stuff. So it's cool kind of seeing like reference points. Aquacure 918. There you go, high grade. Okay. Oh fuck. Okay, good. Fuck off, fat man. Okay, that's new as well. So obviously, take this. Can't aim for shit. Okay, actually, let's check that thing. So it's 918. So obviously, that'll be the combination of the safe. Okay, I am gonna like try and blame like my shitty aiming and stuff and decision making on the fact that I had like what like an hour or two sleep. And what we got? We have a Oh, a red dot for the hangar. That's cool. So yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how long this one is. Yeah, so in terms of like grogginess, like an example of that is... Uh... Oh, why did I just run into him? It's because my screen's so dark. I was having some like cereal this morning and... Can we go in here? Yes. And uh, I went to go and put the cereal back in the fridge rather than the milk. So that's just an example of how kind of fucked I was this morning. So they are as bullet spongy as in the original. Violence is getting worse and worse these past few days. Got a shotgun when it breaks. If things are south, cut the train and bust out that sucker. It's on the gun rack. Okay. So I'm guessing we can't. Okay. A grenade, but we don't have any room. I may as well combine these. Which is fine as long as I can actually, you know, get it to work. And then I won't have wasted getting the shotgun bullets instead. Okay, he's dead. 
Is this like the new lock thing or not? I don't know. Because it's going to be set on like the same night or something as the second one. I think there was like another door around the side here. Yeah, so this might have something. This must be the subway company's offices. To do with helping get that gun rack thing open. Huh, nothing. All right, so the manual. In the event of a power outage, the subway will automatically cease operations. Once power has been restored, please use the control panel to confirm the stations at which the train will stop, as well as which track segments will be used. If the route entered is unsafe, an error will occur and operations will not resume. Okay. So maybe we can't actually do anything with that. Hmm, okay. Just have another look around, make sure I don't miss anything. Oh, look, there's another one. Let's see, what time is it? So it's half 12 in this one. So I wonder if there's any sort of connection. You know, there's like the, the kendo shop thing, because she leaves the... Uh, The note behind, and that was lucky. Take that. Anything around the back of here. What I love about it is that I can like see the mall as like the map backdrops, which I love. Oh shit! Okay, we're just gonna fucking go straight into this. Oh, okay. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, okay. Okay, good. They're like, fuck you. Go straight into this then. Alright then. And I think this is brought us back out where we kind of started as well. Oh shit, you can hear him. You can hear him. Oh shit! Oh my god, oh my god. Oh no. Yeah, I can see this getting fucking annoying quick. Where, where are we going to go? I don't know what the best way to go is. We're going to die here. Oh, we are dead. And we were just a pair of legs. Most recent checkpoint last night, I thought they might have like actually just been like, fuck you. Just keep running. You'll occasionally come across sparkling portable generators. Oh, so you can use, like, environmental stuff. That's cool. If you get too close, you might be in for a shock yourself. Okay, so yeah, let's have a look around here first before we go through there. And then... Die, basically. It's got the save room. It's got like the save room theme. Hmm, what should I get rid of? Hmm. 
I guess I could drop off that. I will need the fire hydrant to obviously put out the flames. And we want the bolt cutters because we'll go back this way and get the shotgun. Oh yeah, we can pick them up. Oh, that's cool though, how it actually like, lets you keep the amount. It's cool how it lets you keep the amount that is left over. I dig that. Some of the doors are kind of iffy. Which is kind of annoying, but other than that, shouldn't be too bad. And the shotgun's got a different design as well, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I should have thought about that actually, shouldn't I? Let's see it in action. Nice. Different reticle as well from the second one, which is interesting. Alright, we need to work on that, clearly. I also need to work on where the fuck you're gonna go. Unless it's just literally straight back to uh, put the flames out once we run into him. Okay, so let's actually try going up there. Oh, I thought we were actually gonna try and get away and then he's gonna jump in front of us again. Yeah, that must be like a, a thing. So I'm trying to think how do we get, oh, it's just over here, isn't it? Seems well, actually. There you go. Okay. Short and sweet. I'm kind of pissed off that I died. So two of 20 dolls. So obviously they're the new um, Mr. Raccoon things. Okay, standard. That's why you didn't have the auto aim. Yeah, okay. So super short, but I think a good little taste of what to expect. Um, I like how they actually gave you some nemesis time like that was kind of cool like already it's pretty much the standard fares the second one obviously some tweaks like the um the look of it and stuff i'll just see what i take i might just take us back to the main menu they're eager no not yet <laughs> uh so yeah there you go that's uh the resident evil 3 demo but yeah, I'd be interested to see what you guys think. So obviously there's some changes. They kind of updated some of the bits. The door thing is kind of annoying. Like you run into it and then it's solid and then they go through it rather than two. So hopefully they'll kind of tweak that a bit for the actual release. Um, look at the size of his hands. They're huge. Looks good. The sound, like the voices are great. Like the Carlos voice sounds really good. Jill uh, is good, yeah. Uh, the Nemesis obviously looks great. That that ending cutscene where you like bust through the wall, like that looks really fucking good. Just tell me what you guys think. Do you think that this looks as good as two, better than two? Uh, obviously, Nemesis is a new kind of feature, a more enhanced version of Mr. X. That kind of following stalking mechanic, and we've seen some of his skills there. He's got the tentacles and the big leap thing, so he's going to be a big, formidable, annoying bastard. All right, so uh, after my initial playthrough, I've played through it a couple more times now, and just wanted to point out some of the like things I noticed or some things I didn't really highlight in it. So one of them is that Nemesis makes uh, new enemy types. So you saw it in like the cutscene, but I kind of was a bit like, oh, okay, it's Nemesis, and didn't really like take it in. Um, but he actually was like making like I'm gonna call it, like a butthole enemy type, and these like kind of put their 
butthole, like, around your head. And, um, I tried to get some good footage of it and, like, see if they had, like, a kill animation. But he kept, like, punching them and interrupting it. But, yeah, so that's a new thing. Um, they kind of remind me of, like, Dalek Sec from Doctor Who, if that's any, um, kind of relative comparison for you. Um, also, I noticed the mannequins are the same ones from RE7 and Resident Evil 2. Um, which, I don't know, I thought was interesting. They're just reusing the same thing and just putting them in a trolley next to some stairs. The red barrels are usable. Um, I think most people know that, but I just wanted to, like, kind of show it off a bit more. Uh, one thing that I thought was actually really cool is on the catwalks, you can actually go right, and that leads to the roof rather than going left, which leads to the building with, like, the safe and stuff. So I'm going to show some footage of that here. It's not, like, that exciting. All it really does is lead back to the original kind of streetway where you have the fire alleyway that's covered off that is like the whole point of the demo basically there's a shop around the corner that has a chain on it but really all that happens once you unlock it i thought it might be like something kind of cool in there because it's kind of out the way and like kind of you'd have to remember it was there to go back and do it but really there's nothing really that exciting about it it's just kind of a shop it's just got some usual things in i'm thinking there may be a thing that leads underneath although looking at it it is like blocked off with like debris and stuff Although they may like remove that for the full game. But of course in Resident Evil 2 we did see a lot of like rubbish clogging up like alleyways and stuff like that. Or like doorways. So that may just stay exactly the same in the final game. So as well as the map and the HUD tweaks, the discard item kind of sign has been replaced from the tick, the red tick from Ori 2, to now being like a bin, well trash can, whatever you prefer to use. Which is kind of interesting, so that was kind of cool. And one thing, final thing, is that Nemesis can get into some buildings, but not others, I think. Because I've got a bit here, that shop that I was telling you about, he doesn't come in there, and I think that's because he can't. So I think there's some places that he can't come into. But he can go into Stan Mikita's Donuts, which he kind of acts more docile and a bit like Mr. X. Or, and I was thinking, oh, maybe he doesn't run indoors. But I, there was a bit where, I'll show you here. There was a bit where he kind of, I think he runs up behind me. So I think he does still run, but I think he does have a more kind of subdued animation and like kind of attack when he is indoors compared to outside, as you can see when he's like running around and like beating the crap out of you basically. So yeah, I just thought that was some other cool extra things that I kind of noticed that I'm not saying people are going to miss, but that I didn't cover in my initial thing. So at least it's something like that. So there's some Easter eggs, some cool little features. Also the dodge that you can do like the quick step um, she has like a backwards thing like a kind of like staggering reversal thing which is pretty cool and also you have to hit it at like the exact point and then it, like flashes white and it shows that you've done like a perfect roll uh, so that that's basically everything that I kind of thought was extra that I hadn't covered uh, so yeah hopefully that's some cool stuff uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments like do you think this looks good has a demo made you more excited less excited and that kind of stuff. So thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, you know, that, that's about it. First impressions, it's it's weird, it's interesting. It's weird having a different like environment and a, a new character, obviously. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited to see the rest of it. So thanks for watching and thanks a lot, guys. That was Resident Evil 3 demo. I'm Nukes Plays signing out. Thanks for watching, stay awesome, and I'll see you guys next time.